Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing the Cheapskate Achievement in Mission 1.3 of Espire 1. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more videos on uh, Espire 1, or more tutorials on Espire 1. And if you want, or if you have any questions or any videos you would like me to make in the future, go ahead and put that in the comment section below. So before we get started, um, let me explain this achievement a little bit better. So, this achievement, you have to pretty much keep your expenditure really lo like lower than 25,000 and expenditure is just how much money you spend now just so that you get a little bit of an idea here you spend money anytime you knock out an enemy anytime you take out security camera every bullet you shoot every time every second that happens money is being spent so really what you want to do is do this mission as quickly as possible without picking up any weapons shooting any weapons knocking out any enemies, but I'll show you exactly what I do as we go through the mission. So, right now, I'm going to skip the briefing. So this first part is pretty easy, so you just need to walk over here to make sure you don't, um, I wasn't going to say trigger, but I don't think that's the right word, um, alarm him. Then you're going to... I don't know where that came from. And then, like I said, you want to do this as quickly as possible because every second is mon money spent. So now, once you get to right here, squat it down, you're going to grab onto this corner and sling yourself to the door. Now that you've done that, you're going to get up, and like I said, you're going to want to do the absolute minimum. You do not want to do anything extra. So, there, I, I actually haven't said that yet. So, you want to do the absolute minimum so when you open them crates you don't want to open all three because that takes a lot more time than just opening one all right now those two guards are going that way and this siding this metal siding that goes up the walls you will be using this a lot so you will always want to look for any little pieces of metal on the corners of the wall so there's going to be a guard that gets right here, so we're just going to slowly go by him. And then there's going to be a guard who walks that way. We are going to climb in the thing here without alarming him. Go right through here. So that was a pretty successful way through. We didn't alarm anybody or anything like that. But this part is going to be a little bit harder. So first thing we're going to do... There's going to be a guy right there. We're going to let him go by, and we're going to squat down. There's going to be another guy walking back and forth, but as long as you stay squat down, he shouldn't see you. Next, this next guard over here, he literally looks straight at you, so you will have to knock him out. Or, use your taser. And I accidentally sent it into slow motion. It shouldn't be that big of a problem, but because I haven't really spent money anywhere else, but... Anyways, and then you're gonna wanna you going wanna climb up these pipes. I'm sorry guys. You wanna get around the corner first, I forgot about that. And then run across. You be very careful not to fall, because if you fall your whole thing gets screwed up. Luckily I fell all the way over there, so it shouldn't be a problem. Then you gotta launch yourself all the way to this end. As long as you go all far enough to to this floor, that enemy over there shouldn't see you. So now this part's a little bit harder. So he's gonna go that way. We're gonna climb up this pipe. Now we're just gonna run across this little thing on the roof. Nobody's gonna see us. We are going to wait for him to come here and then go back down. And all energy spent every time you get shot, that also costs money. So literally everything you do costs money. So that's why I hate that that one part went into slow motion, but it's all right. Now, we want to go through this part without triggering that enemy over there if we can. If, if it happens, it's fine, we'll just knock him out. But if we can, we don't want to not trigger him, uh, alarm him. And we have alarmed him, so. My, I don't know why it's not trusting my hand very good right now. Now we're just gonna let him go around. And if you can not alarm him, great. If you do, it's fine. You just you know, knock him out. 75% of the time, he's going to see you. Alright. 
now that we've done that. Now this uh, one, this objective, you don't have to stay here the whole time. Just until it says done searching and then it says objective complete. Then you can go out here. You don't have to listen to them talking. So now we're going to take a little shortcut. So wait for him to walk that way. Now you're going to want to jump, squat it down. Oh, I'm just throwing myself out of it. And then you're just going to want to walk through here. This will make from, like I said, I don't know if I said this before, but this is a lot like the repair or the electrocutioner achievement. The trial. It's a lot like that. So there is one guard in here, but he stays in that cubicle over there, so we should be able to get through this part very quickly. Alright. Now that turn is going to turn. Walk across. To over here. Now these two guys you're gonna have to knock out. I mean you could get around them, but you're better off just knocking them out. Alright. So there you go, we knocked out them two guys. Now we're gonna run up the stairs. This part is probably going to be the hardest part. If you can get past this part though, you'll have it made. So you're going to have to do this part very slowly. That guy. Oh, someone's suspicious of us. See, that's what I'm saying. This part is very hard to do. Now we're going to go back out this door. I'm not sure why it's not opening. There it goes. This part is not easy. And now if we can just get up here before he comes completely suspicious of us. And perfect. The turret didn't hit us. Okay, now that was a bit scary. I probably could have done that a little bit more flawlessly, but you get the point. And if you go up this way, no, you won't have to deal with any other guards. So now we just get to, normally you come through this part right here and then you start going up the steps. And this is a little bit longer way around, but you're better off trying to sprint through here. And then uh, you're better, you will spend less money sprinting through here than you will if you try to knock out them three enemies over there and try to get around them. So. You know, this part should be easy. So we're just gonna run the lasers. Go through here. Looks like there are heavily armored There's a armored copperhead troop over there. He's gonna barely see us. This guy's gonna barely see us. And then he's gonna walk around and that guy see us. And then we're going to go into this airlock. And I get stuck on that chair every single time. But anyways, this is going to uh, go out and I want to make sure I got it. Slow motion thing may have put me over the edge and falling, but... Nope, I got it. Okay. So there you go. That's how you're going to get the cheap skate achievement. And I got all the badges for a second time. And if you hit... Okay, so right here, if you feel like you got it and you don't know what you did wrong, so I spent... $13,564. If you really want to know what you did, here's tools. You can see how much money I spent on tools. I spent absolutely nothing on tools. Weapons, I, sh I had one tranquilizer pistol, so that cost me $1,530. Bullets, I shot one bullet, so that cost me $89. And then I had four guards that I KO'd, which was $2,600. And I want to. I want you to notice that um, guards killed versus guard, guards KO'd. Guards killed costs a lot more than guards KO'd. So, and you can also see Espire spotted by guard also um, takes money. And then this right here, if I blew up anything, and see how the time works right there. Agent salary. I spent nine thousand three hundred forty-five on agent salary. So. But there you go. If you're really wanting to see what you did wrong, this is probably one of them. And if it told, and if this says you did it right, and it still didn't give you the achievement, it's probably because you quit halfway through and then re-entered. If you did, then you're just anytime you do that with any achievement, you just want to redo the mission because it's not going to count it. But anyways, thanks for watching. I can't wait to see you in another one of my videos. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. And until I get to see you in another one of my videos, uh, goodbye.